He was just a boy. There was no cruelty in him, nor was there weakness, but he had to prove himself. His goal was to kill Dan Blaine. Seems to me the only thing that matters is whether a man's any good or not. How does he know if he's good? Easy. He just finds the best there is. You got a lawman there named Blaine, Daniel Blaine. I've been hearing for a year now that he's about the fastest man with a handgun this side of Abilene. What might your name be? McGuire. Lot McGuire. And yours? Blaine. Daniel Blaine. The last challenge. More than a life depended on it. Five years in prison gives a man a long time to think. You come out and turn lawman. It's kind of strange, isn't it? No, man, either gets smart or gets dead. You know, the most dangerous people in the world, a lot are the ones that don't benefit by their own mistakes. Like you. For God's sake, why did you have to come here? To take the measure of Dan Blaine. You'll never, never be half the man. I don't want to kill you, Lot. I don't want to kill you because you ain't been born yet. Really think you can outshoot me with a handgun? If you mean can I kill you, the answer is yes. If you mean will I kill you, the answer is still yes. I hear he's faster than light, man. I heard 10 o'clock tonight. Suspense mounting with steel wire tension. I say if Dan Blaine has any trouble with this here pistol era, I'll just eat my hat. Dan Blaine had faced many challenges, too many. He was a pistolero turned lawman. Now it was time for the last challenge. 